Hey, how we doing? Hi, I'm Paul Begley. Clean water is very important, but did you know 20% of the world doesn't have clean water? As a matter of fact, in Nigeria, the news has just broke. There's a there's a cholera epidemic there in Nigeria. 352 people have died. Um, they've had 6,400 cases of cholera since June in the country of Nigeria. Cameroon has had 155 cases of cholera nearby and it's just it's spreading. It's an epidemic it's just spreading. You know the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 24, I'm going to read a little bit this to you real quick. It says, uh, And Jesus answered said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. <laughs> See that you be not troubled, for all these things must, must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Here's why. For nation shall rise against nation. Is that today? Kingdom against kingdom. Is that today? There shall be famines. We got them all over. Pestilence. Earthquakes diseases and divers places, these pestilences, there's, there's going to be sickness everywhere. But all of these are the beginning of sorrows. You see the world, woe unto the world, as these catastrophes, natural disasters, you know the 72 bodies found there in Mexico, a drug, cartel, drug cartels killed them. In Iraq, in Iraq today, a bombing killing 55. You got 350 people dying in Nigeria from cholera. You got 1,600 people dying from the floodwaters in Pakistan. You got 20 million people in Pakistan right now homeless with disease spreading. You got a war going on in Afghanistan right now as the Taliban have oppressed their people. And, and still, you've got issues there. We got Iran threatening every day to bomb Israel off the face of the map. You got Russia selling uranium to Iran so they could build nuclear weapons down the road. You've got Hezbollah saying to Iran, sell some uh, weapons to uh, Lebanon so we can shoot rockets into Israel. You got Israel threatening every day to have to do a preemptive strike on Iran. You've got America who's got their fingers in just about every pie. And while that's going on, Russia's flying jets over by the Canadian border. This world's upside down. I didn't even mention Fidel Castro or the North Korea, South Korea situation or Hugo Chavez and being an idiot down in South America. I'm telling you. And then we got 33 miners in Chile stuck down in the, in the bottom of, the, you know, 2,200 feet in the earth that they can't get out till maybe Christmas and they've decided not to tell them, which I disagree with that. Tell these guys what they're up against so they can get the courage to muster it up. And get the faith. We're living in the last days, people. If you can't see it, I, you know, read the Bible. Go to Matthew 24. I just read a little bit of it. Read it. How close we're coming to the end. I was, I was done with videos today, but I had to break in on this cholera thing. I'm Paul Beckley. May God help us, everyone.